Good morning, everybody. I'm about to start my morning how I start my every morning, which is watching Bridgerton, eating my breakfast, which usually is like my breakfast lunch because I wake up late. Last night, I went to Olive Garden with Ben and I got the chicken Alfredo, but instead of pasta, I got broccoli. It was actually so good. Here is my leftover. I had some more last night, um, late at night because I was hungry, but I'm going to heat some of this up. My plans for today, I am pretty sure I'm hanging out with Ben later, but also clean, clean, clean. My parents are making their way home soon. <laughs> so exciting. I love my parents, but I do love being here on my own. I can't lie. Yeah, I have to clean a lot. I'm heating up like this much. Also while that's heating up. Also, I have aquaphor on my nose from blowing it a lot, so ignore that. But I got some things at CVS yesterday that I thought would be fun to show you, I guess. we will do a little CVS haul. I wish it was from the CVS on Essex Street in Salem, but it's not. <laughs> some mouthwash. I love this mouthwash. It's the TheraBreath. All of their mouthwashes are good, but I got the whitening one because I feel like my teeth have been looking extra. Yellow. and Crest 3D White. I just, I'm really sick of looking at my yellow teeth. <laughs> We're gonna continue this over here because the lighting's not good over there. I got two of the original Batiste dry shampoos because they were buy one get one 50% off. Ridiculously long CVS receipt. I got the Miel um, Rosemary Mint Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the hair oil I have to promote hair growth, so I figured I'd try the shampoo and conditioner. I am pretty much almost three months post-op. Three months post-op, you can have bubbly drinks again. So I got some poppies to try. I got the strawberry lemon flavor and the Doc Pop one. I also tried yesterday ginger lime one. It's pretty good. I'm gonna make a mocktail later, like a sleepy girl mocktail with this. I was never like a big soda drinker before my surgery. I do enjoy like a diet Dr. Pepper here and there, or even just seltzer. I love seltzer. Stuff like that, like once in a while, I don't think will be a bad habit. Like I think I'm, it's just gonna be once in a while, but because I can have it again, I just wanna try it. So yeah, but that's everything I got from CVS. I'm gonna enjoy this delish chicken alfredo. Mm. I'm gonna eat that, watch Bridgerton, then we're gonna get started with cleaning. And I'm gonna change because I know if I clean in a sweatshirt, I'll be so hot. So I'm gonna wear a t-shirt. I'll see you when I'm done with this. I love it. But the waitress at Olive Garden was like making fun of me. She was like packing it up for me. First of all, she kept like making comments that I wasn't finishing my food and it made me uncomfortable. That's one thing that has been so uncomfortable with gastric relief surgery for me is like going to restaurants and like having waiters and waitresses like see that I'm not really eating a lot. It makes me uncomfortable because I know they're not thinking that I had weight loss surgery. They're probably thinking like, I didn't like it. I'm starving myself, like any of that stuff. And I don't want to explain my life story to like strangers. So it's like, it's just uncomfortable for me. And it has brought upon a new anxiety going to restaurants, that's for sure. I used to be scared of the opposite, how I used to finish everything on my plate and how waiters would judge me, but not anymore. She was like packing it away. She's like, um, I've never had to pack away chicken alfredo without the pasta before. And she was like joking around, but I was like really uncomfortable. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and she just like, she kept talking about it. She was like, was it even good without the pasta? I was like, yeah, it was good. Cause like one of my, whatever girl, go away. I'll see you in a little bit. I changed into this adorable shirt I just got. It's from Hollister, an Olivia Rodrigo baby tee. It's really cute and I'm feeling confident. Before my surgery, I would not have been able to get this because they didn't have plus size. On the Hollister website, 
with ordering it, but I feel pretty confident and it looks cute. I really like it and it made me happy because before my surgery, I never wore baby tees. Like, I was just too big. It's so cute. Before we start cleaning, Starbucks has lavender cold foam who why didn't you guys tell me that looks insane i'm gonna go get this we're gonna go get this maybe it'll motivate me to what the hell clean i'm very excited about this i don't know if i should get the matcha well yeah that's how it comes ice lavender cream oat milk matcha that sounds delicious 33 grams of sugar holy shit there's 27 grams of sugar in a tall it'll be fine i won't have a lot I just want to try it and obviously i'm not gonna get it every day i make my coffee here i'm gonna go get it to feel the energy to clean because not feeling it today but we have to get it done i am in love with this shirt okay new favorite shirt and i like the look of pajama pants with it like come on it's cute okay let's go could i get the tall ice lavender cream oat milk matcha yep anything else that's it Thank you. Should I not be vlogging? I'm gonna be vlogging. How are you? Thank you. It smells so good. Thank you. I don't know, it doesn't even look purple because the side of the cup is like green. I'll show you in a second. You can see it at the top, but I am so excited. I should really get a tripod for my car because I literally just sit you on the dash on and it's not very stable okay here it is it doesn't look you can't see the purple i'm gonna edit it i guess you can kind of see the purple there i guess first i'm gonna try a little bit of the foam hmm that is good it tastes like lavender i guess i've never just like tasted lavender before Mmm, it tastes like spring. That's really good. The Starbucks matcha, I think, has sweetener in it. Pretty sure. The foam is really good. Mmm, I like it. I like that flavor. It's very spring. It tastes like what a lavender candle smells like. I wonder how that would taste on other stuff. Cause I'm not like, matcha isn't my go-to. I like it, but I wonder how that would taste on like maybe chai or even a latte. Like I wonder, like a lavender oat milk latte, that might be really good. But this will do for sure. I wanted to try it because it's like how it's advertised. I actually really like that. Now I don't think I'd get it again because of how much sugar is in it. Just on my personal journey, I try to do lower sugar because I had the gastric sleeve. So not worth the sugar for me, but maybe I would get the, for like a little bit of a sugary treat, if I wanted to get a latte, maybe like a shake and espresso with oat milk and sugar-free vanilla and then put the cold foam on top of it that could be really good i don't know if it's limited edition or it's like here to stay i know starbucks has been flopping a little recently with their new stuff like the oil latte they did like the olive oil latte i don't even know if that's a thing anymore i never tried it but okay starbucks i've always wanted to try like a lot because i've seen other places like coffee shops do like a lavender latte and i never tried them but it's so cute i love the purple i wish you could see it more i'm so disappointed i wish it was like the picture it reminds me of lush <laughs> the store you know why because i had a lavender like they're relaxing lavender like lotion for bedtime and that's what it tastes like but i don't mind it at all but it does taste like a candle a little bit i probably won't drink the whole thing but it'll definitely give me a little energy boost to clean so yeah let's head back home in this horrible weather i hate it this song is so good heaven in your eyes to clean now like no more playing around 
I'm gonna hit the living room first. This has been giving me a lot of problems lately. Stuff is getting lost, so I'm just gonna angle you like that and get to work. Using this Chipotle bag as a garbage bag. I was watching Cody Co. and I stopped mid-video to clean. Proud of myself. This is from Ben's birthday a month ago. of pimples right now so i fully finished the living room okay the floor over here is clear there was like tons of mail there a bunch of shoes stacked up on my shoes now you can walk here look how clear everything is biscuits toys are put away for the most part she took out a couple because she couldn't help herself tables put away couches are made you can walk now this is still here because Ben is coming over. We like to eat and watch TV, so it's just easy for him to have the table there. It feels good to actually be able to walk now. The kitchen is another story. The kitchen is definitely pretty bad. That is for sure my next project. I don't know if that's gonna be tonight or tomorrow, but it has to be tomorrow for sure. I just, I can't live like this. I can't. I just need to make sure the house is not torn apart when my parents get home because that's disrespectful. <laughs> also in here, there's a bunch of crap. I just, I think tomorrow is going to be my big cleaning day, but I'm glad I at least got the living room done. I'm trying to stay in the mindset that I don't need to do all or nothing to be like, to like feel good about myself like part of it you know i don't have to clean the entire house right now to be like okay a little bit at a time i'm giving myself the space to do that and not judging myself because at least i'm cleaning all right so i actually think i'm gonna end the vlog here just because i'm not gonna be doing really anything else other than hanging out with ben and we're not doing anything fun so I'm not gonna like shove a camera in his face. Tomorrow's definitely gonna be cleaning the kitchen and the dining room and like everything else, doing laundry. So stay tuned for that. I know some of you guys like seeing my cleaning content. Plenty more where that came from. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.